hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's Eki. if it's your first time seeing me you are welcome today's video is a simple sparkling eye look if you are ready to see something like that on this channel then keep on watching while we go right into this I'll video be priming my lid with the pro primer so I'm just going to be <clears throat> applying that on my lid I'm blending the eyeshadow primer out so you can use any eyeshadow primer of your choice to create whatever look you want so I'm just pushing that into my skin the primer is just to help my eyeshadow stick and also make it pop more yeah. so I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from Noban Beauty this is their Eclipse uh, collection so I'm going to be using this shade here I'm going to be using the shade sorry for that I dropped the eyeshadow palette so one of them one of the eyeshadow inside got broken so it's getting my eyeshadow messed up okay so I'm just going to be parting that at my outer corner of the eyes so I'm just patting this to give me enough enough pigment that I need then I will just start blending and blending towards the inner corner of my eyes so the color I'm using the shade I'm using here is called Nova so I'm adding that because I want more depth so I'm just going to be blending that into the inner corner of my eyes in a circular motion so I'm repeating the same thing on this side I'm just spotting that eyeshadow at the outer corner the same way I did to the other side of my eyes so I'm just going in a circular motion into the inner corner of my eyes so I'm just blending I blend from the outer corner because I want this area to be more pigmented or I want the eyeshadow color to be more on the outer corner of my eyes than it is at the inner corner so I make sure I blend and blend so I take whatever is left from the whatever is left in the brush I just take it into the inner corner of my eyes so I'm just blending back and forth just to get that crease well blended i'll be going in, into this eyeshadow palette from uh, the below star this is their nude palette so i'll just be i'll be going in with this shade right here at my crease i want to deepen my crease a little more so i'm just bringing that down so i'm applying the darker shade of brown down below the shade I applied earlier at my crease this is just to further deepen my crease just going in a circular motion just to give it a nice blend I'm just bringing that shade down here to the lower to my lash line this is just to do something like a v-shape i'm blending out the edges with another blending brush just to get the transition color together i went back into the brown shade just to further blend out the brown shade i applied because it seems i've lost the shade already so guys if you've not seen my previous videos on how to create 
do a simple high eye look please i'll be leaving the link at my description box below do check that out and also if you've not subscribed yet to my channel and then you're still watching this video please the subscribe button is right down here subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss new videos uploads comes up here every wednesdays and sunday and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share with your friends okay we have to get to 100k huh we are still far behind okay so please subscribe i'll be going in with this concealer from ferrarucci i'll be using this shade here i just want to give my lid color what to stick on so i'm going to be applying that on my lid just like so so this eye look is going to be very simple like i said so i'm not doing too much so i'm taking that lid color up a bit because i don't want it to smudge and then i'm blending out the edges just to make everything look seamless this is my cut crease actually the simple sparkling eye look that i am doing so i'll be blending that out using the blending brush i used earlier in applying my transition color so i'm just blending the edges of the concealer so i'm going to be using this shade here from noban beauty it's called corona it's not that corona so i'm just putting that on my lid just to give it a nice blend i'll be sweeping it a bit just to give that pigment some blend i love this shade it's so pretty so i'm doing the same thing on this side just blending the edges of the lid color with the transition so i don't want any demarcation so that's the reason why i'm doing this just to keep the edges clean and neat i'll be adding this pigment to my lid this is from tracy bella this is how the pigment looks like here i'm going to be using the brush i used earlier in applying concealer on my lid i'm using that same brush to pack that pigment right on top of the lid color this pigment is actually very beautiful i like it but the thing i don't like about it it's that it's flying everywhere if you notice the whole of my face even my head is having pigment like it's flying everywhere but i love the way it's looking it's soft and you know beautiful but if only they can make it stick and not fly all over the place i'll be priming my face with the pons primer so i'm just going to be applying that on my face and then work that primer into my skin this is a um, oil controlling primer just working that on my t-zone this is where i usually get most of the oil next i'll be minimizing my pores with the baby skin from Maybelline. i'll be applying this on the areas that i have pores just to minimize that so this just helps my skin to feel smooth i'll be adding this liquid highlighter on the highest point of my face just to bring out some glow because i love to glow i'll be applying this foundation this is Maybelline super stay so this is a 330 toffee caramel and then this is a truffle trophy in 362 so i'll be mixing both of them 
because the 330 is a little bit lighter so I'm using like two and a half pump of this and then I'll be applying I'll be adding a little of this I'll be applying that with this brush on my skin so this flat brush is from city color in F06 so I'm just using that to apply the foundation on my skin this foundation is full coverage guys full coverage most of the times if I'm using this foundation I don't really go in with um, color corrector because I have some dark spots on my face which I always love to color correct but if I'm using this foundation most of the times I don't like color correcting because it's full coverage already so it covers almost everything on my face so I'm just going over it with the beauty sponge just to smoothen things out I'll be highlighting my under eye using this berry concealer from Ferrarucci. I'll be using this lighter shade for my inner corner of the eyes. I want this very area to be more lighter. I'm blending the concealer out using my beauty sponge. So I always blend my under eye last because I don't want it to crease by the time I come back to set. So guys, I'll be setting using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm just tapping that powder on the area that I highlighted. I'm not going in with too much of the powder. I'm just using a very tiny amount of it at a time just to set my under eye area and this is just to keep the highlighted place the highlighted area in place and prevent it from creasing so I'll be smudging out my under eye using the same eyeshadow color or shade that I used earlier for my cream to smudge out my under eye. I'll be using the same brown I used earlier in deepening my crease to also smudge out the lower lash line. So I've already lined my waterline using the Debbie Luster eyeliner okay guys that is it for this look if you love this video already please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys